Well, you're looking at it right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Jade Strike X. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I showed my big data around. Hey, good to have everybody here. I know that. <laughs> I know that stuff is. Uh, busy, like, this weekend, a lot of people are traveling to go see the solar eclipse, uh, a lot of people are watching Wrestlemania, a lot of people are tied to the bed, it's a very busy weekend, and that's just how it goes every once in a while, you know? Do, 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 do. Linkura, okay, ignore that last one. Ignore the last one, okay? Only some people might be tight. Cra crappy, crappy. Can you take us away? Uh, let's reveal the game. Let's go. Ah, watch out. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 that's the one that I wanted. Perfect. Okay, well, everybody, Cusa Grande cannot be done without GMs. I know, because uh, we did it for two years, and... I had a hard time. So luckily we have a wonderful pool of GMs that have been splishing and splashing, just trying to find all the games that they want to give out. And our first GM for today is our dear friend, Smite. Happy birthday recently, by the way, Smite. Good to have you here. I am pretty dang excited. Let me, I'll probably have to poke Smite. Smite's been a little busy with setup. Bah, that's how it goes. Oh, hello there. Hey. Wait, why can't I hear you? Oh no, did I mess everything up? Wait, 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 wait. I messed it up, I messed it up. I can fix it, I can fix it. Blame, uh, blame Corndan. Okay, I can hear you now. Nice. <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, Smite, it has been a week, but luckily, like, getting back into the swing of things, I'm excited. Uh, also, happy birthday last weekend. I really enjoyed watching the various uh, arcade pits, and also, I saw that you used one or two of the pictures that I sent in from games, which made me happy. I ran out. I did I had to go in and improve them on the fly. Oh yeah, I watched that. But that Stardew Valley one with the trees, yeah, that was me. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I I was, because I've been getting into it lately because of the uh, recent updates and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. And I was like, where do I put it? I'm like, well, I'm not gonna share it online because uh, I'm gonna send it to Smite. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was like, this is perfect for, and they still got it really quickly. It was great. It's got a certain odd style to it, but I think it's a weird one for that game. Oh, I Only loved it. Once. Yeah, well, most people end up seeing it. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I, I love Arcade Pit. I'm glad that, like, I got to catch quite a bit of it last weekend. Uh, with that said, you know, you... Uh, I, I was watching the match chat, and it seems like you got a few vetoes, and so you, you're you kind of dipping your toes into something a bit more obscure here. It's not obscure to me. I grew up with this game, but I tell you, they should have uh, they should have not played those other ones, because those games are better. <laughs> game, they really made me dig deep into the bad pile here. Uh, yeah, I honestly know nothing about this game, so yeah, how about you introduce us all to it? Well, I've never heard of the company, but this game is a Nintendo game about a circus. It's called Circus Caper. Circus Caper. Oh, you've never heard of the company Toho? Right. No. Yeah, I'm absolutely convinced of that. Well, that's okay. Yeah. The players will quickly they? learn about who they are. They've got an hour <laughs> to try to make as much progress as they can in Circus Caper. Whoever does takes the victory. Whoever doesn't will... Well, I mean, whoever comes in last, they only get two points, but whatever. Nobody's getting eliminated today, as far as I can tell. In all seriousness, how many games did Toho make? <laughs> what? A One? lot? All of them? I haven't the seen these. I think they made all the games. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I'm going to work on getting everything captured, and I can guarantee that I will have to recapture, because this is my... My life, Smite. 
It looks like they made Godzilla and Cliffhanger and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES. Okay, Godzilla 1 or Godzilla 2? The... Because Godzilla they 1... They made a lot of them. Oh, no. Okay, I hate Godzilla 2. Uh, everybody here... Maybe not everybody here knows how much I hate Godzilla 2, but I do. Uh, yeah, because I got that game when I was a kid, okay? I had a choice between that and uh, Swords and Serpents for the NES, which is another game that I think a lot of people hate, but I actually really enjoyed it as a kid, and I would have enjoyed getting that a lot more than Godzilla 2. And it's all because of Dr. Dickens, okay? She's, she's a butt. She tells you, she like, when you go and talk to her, she says, I can't help you. That's almost all that she does. And then the one time that she talks, she's just basically like, all birds are cool, or something like that. It's so stupid. Why do you even put a useless character like Dr. Dickens in a game? I don't know. I've got a lot of complaints about Godzilla 2, Smite. I, I don't know if you knew that, but now you do. I've played them. I remember Super Godzilla the best. Because of the um, the LP. <laughs> because of the Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. I mean, I I have watched a handful of Let's Plays. I probably need to watch more though, to be honest. You know, I, I know that a lot of uh, a lot of that has died by this time in life, but there's so many good ones. And then the Retsu Praise always made me laugh. Uh, we still quote some of those in our household. Uh, good old slow beef definitely uh, brought a lot of joy to my life, let me tell you. Well, let me go ahead and get the game up. And yeah, everybody, uh, when you see the game start, it's probably gonna look terrible and need to be recaptured, so uh, you better forgive me, because if you don't, I'll kick your butts. I think I'm feeling sassy today, Smite. I gotta be honest. What is this music? I normally don't circus like me? circus music. I It's the worst genre of music, okay? And yeah, I'm calling it a genre. And it's easily the worst genre in existence, okay? Nobody likes circus music, not even the circus performers. They're like, stop the oompa-pa! Stop it! Nobody needs an oompa-pa, oompa-pa. Well, I think all of the players are ready. Let me let me go ahead and check. At least I have all of their streams up. Uh, so I'll tell them to take their picks down. Uh, and otherwise, we'll get rolling in just a little bit. And then once we get started, we can talk about sort of how the game plays, how we're going to be tracking progress, and letting everybody know about that. Thank you, by the way, uh, some egrets and Bilby Coder for those subscriptions. I very much appreciate it. And I'm glad that people here agree that circus music sucks. <laughs> it does! Yes. Circuses were a mistake, and I'm going to stand by that. Okay. The calliope? You don't like the calliope? Isn't that the name of that instrument? What instrument? The circus instrument that you know and love. I didn't know they had their own instrument. Now I, now I'm worried. I don't want. I don't want to look this up. Actually, I really <laughs> want to look it up so I know what instrument to avoid forever. Uh, yeah. Well, it looks like all the players are ready, so chat, I need you to spam all of your appropriate circus emotes, okay? Any clowns that you might have as emotes, you can spam those, because we are gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I'm just waiting for people to spam my face when I say to spam clowns, because that always happens every single time. Yeah, there we go. I told y'all. Hey, who did that? Dude, 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 you're in trouble, okay? Spam in my face. Shame. Well, here we go. As soon as I see movement in the first stage, I will get our time started. 
No second try. Uh oh, let's try our luck. Uh oh. I can, you can lose that. That would be great. I saw somebody roll a four. Uh, I, I'm starting I, the timer. I don't even know what, like, I think we've started. Uh, they'll be moving around after this cutscene that they'll only see one time. Okay. Because they have infinite continues in this game, I'm pretty sure. Now they are off. Heck yeah, everybody, welcome to... Well, I regret... You know what, Smite? We invited you to give games, and I'm gonna go ahead and respect that you did just that. However, uh, I hate clowns, and I hate circuses, and there's nothing you can do to change my mind about how much of a mistake this was. So what is this game? Well, when clowns sit in the audience, they have to spell the word circus, so they're not allowed to be there. It's a game about uh, the clown at the gate gave you a, a rigged opportunity to win tickets, but he only had one left, so your sister goes in, you just wait for her, and then she doesn't ever come out. So you go in and beat up a bunch of clowns to go get her back. Okay, never mind. I like this game. Wow, that was a really quick turnaround. We get to beat <laughs> up clowns? This is the best! Non-stop. Yeah, I actually did a lot of inner thinking recently, and I've decided that if I were to date a clown, like, I'm, I'm gay, okay? But it would have to be a female clown, and I'm not sure why. That's just... Like, uh, do you have any idea why? I, I couldn't da date a male clown ever. Maybe a jester, but not a clown. Do -do 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 oh, somebody found the fairy. Nice. Yay! So, the, the fairy is a 50% chance to win, which they didn't win. And if they die, the fairy would give them a 50% chance to heal them. Oh, okay. Isn't so nice? overall, it's 25% chance because 50% chance to get a fairy uh, or get the win with the fairy, 50% chance that it actually does anything. I think that's the case. Okay. It's a one time. Thing, and they have one life in this game, and then they... Well, they basically restart the section of the game they're on, I think, is how it works. Yeah. Yeah. And chat, like, I, I know I'm, I'm aware of the evil clowns in media. Yeah, like John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, I know about him. Uh, actually, he wasn't even in media. He was a real clown. Yeah. Slash serial killer. Okay. That's kind of creepy, huh? We don't like serial killers in this chat. I hope you all can agree with that. My gosh, what is this jumping across the water that Moonberry was trying to do? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Can I your question? Uh, yeah, that, that definitely answers my question. I love that 60 and a quarter, uh, the person in the top right, has already said in Discord, Oh, I am so coming in last. Uh, is that pretty much, like, the feeling that you expect is going to come from the players here? Yeah, uh, this game, I thought maybe they could beat it once they get the hang of it, because it's not actually... You're seeing all of the difficulty here in level 1. It never mixes anything up. Somebody gave this a 9 out of 10 on Game FAQs, and I looked at why, and it's because of the mini games, which are, <laughs> like, they're, like the helicopter game on Flash on Newgrounds, remember that? <laughs> Where you go up and down, pipe dream kind of... Uh, like Flappy good. Bird? Yeah, it's like that. Like, they're very simple, and if that's the best part of the game, well, that's Circus Caper, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, just play the mini games. I mean, uh, so to be fair, Moonberry Mario Party relies on that as well, you know? If it weren't for the mini games. It would Moonberry be... solved the issue there where you um you get stuck at the end of the level because it's too high, but you have to get this random weapon to drop off the enemies. It gives you a brick that you can just Minecraft into the sky. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad that we uh, like. Is this like one of the first base building survivor survival horror games out there? It might be. There's a image for you. <laughs> All right, let me see what this... <laughs> okay, okay, chat. This image is going to be worth it, I promise. Give me, give me a second. You dare to open up the NES manual. This is all you get, a bunch of these. 
Yeah, this. <laughs> How to play. <laughs> he, he just looks so earnest, you know? Look at this clown. <laughs> like, regular Pagliacci right there, you know? His hair is pointing. I, like, yeah, it's like, go to the right. Yeah, it's correct. This is a side-scrolling platformer where you walk to the right. You are correct, hair of clown. That could be a new witch ingredient for a potion, you know? I have new hair of clown. For some reason, you have a jetpack in stage two, which works in the way of, like, getting tiny little hops, almost like you're swimming in Mario. Okay. What? I mean... A jetpack's a jetpack. It's nice to have. Yeah, I see Moonberry is using it right now. Uh, it's a little bit hard to actually get up on the platform, but... Yeah, that's the way it is. It's, that's the best you're going to do, I think, at that. My gosh, these clowns are so deadly. Those cannonballs with paint on them are... <laughs> uh, every enemy drops a sandwich sometimes if you want to collect health in a fun way of just, you know, standing there and killing enemies. Yeah, by the way, uh, for reference, this match is being tracked specifically by progress through the level. The tie is broken by whoever got there first. Uh, honestly, the game looks like it's pretty dang linear. Uh, and so it yeah. should be relatively easy to tell who has made the most progress in a level. With that said, uh, Moonberry is definitely in the lead, having made it to 1-2. Everybody else is struggling with these, like, what are these creatures in the water that keep, like, throwing you? Oh, they're all named. I'll get you the name. But it's probably named, like, Neil or something. Neil the Clown. That's the kind of names they have in this game. <laughs> Neil the Clown! Oh my gosh! Uh, the referees for this match, by the way, are Linker, not Electa, Jerry Aris, and Sober Dwarf is in town. Go see them. Oh, no! I mean, I'd rather go see a Sober Dwarf than a clown, to be fair. That's probably a good choice. Uh, we also have Neetzel, one of our uh, dear friends who is helping referee. Thank you, all of you who are putting in the work and the effort here. I very much appreciate it. Uh, Level one's names are the upside down clown's name is Chap. Okay. Base clown is named Angel Fat. Human Rocket is Captain Joe. Did you human say... shell is Joker. <laughs> Did you say Captain Fat? Angel Fat oh. and Captain Joe. Angel Fat, Captain Joe? Okay. That's right. I mean, at least the clowns are self-aware enough to give themselves silly names like that. I knew that this would be the way it is. Uh, they get to the boss, they die the boss, the sad sack boss. I don't know what his name is, but then they have to redo 1-1. One, one. You have to do 1-1 one, one and 1-2 one, and 1-go. One to get that checkpoint, you've got to get to world 2. Oh, no. This oh. is why I recommended level progress. <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes sense. I, I think... You know, we're going to see people in World 1 for a while until they really figure out how to avoid all of the death that they've been going through. So, yeah, how many lives do you have? I see power here. I feel like you have one life infinite continues. You might not have infinite continues. I'm pretty sure you do, though. And some of the players are probably starting to recognize the value of punching all the enemies. They drop ham sandwiches, get you some health back. They drop items every time. I mean, and there are some nice sub weapons in this. I do like ham. That that's more what I'm concerned about. I want the ham. You either can click with this game and have no trouble and beat the whole thing in ten minutes, or you just you're just never getting out of one one. That's <laughs> this game sort of works. I believe it. Oh my gosh, I'm just looking through the manual and finding other beautiful faces like this clown right here. Items and weapons clown. I don't like him. Leonard the monkey. Oh, Leonard the monkey. Oh, beautiful. I mean, you got to give line. you got to give a good name to the monkey. Speezy the snake. Oh. That's scary. <laughs> I'm trying to find the boss names here. Well, I, I do okay. know that your name is Tim. What? What is up? Okay, so I've learned in improv. I, I did a lot of improv, 
and in general, the most common names that people end up giving themselves are going to be names that make sense uh, ending with, like, a Y. So, like, Timmy, Billy, Bobby, it's all, like... 90% of improv names end in that way. So the fact that we have Timmy here, aka Tim, as the main character, that's lazy writing, okay? Oh no, Moonberry, no! That's Roly Poly the Clown. I don't like that. Next up, we'll have King Ropey, the trapeze artist, uh, Gamran, the tiger, an animal trainer named Ivanov, Spanky the bear, and then Mr. Magic, finally. I don't want Spanky the bear. It's a unicycle riding bear. <laughs> yeah, Rolly Pulley is going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, okay, I the I don't know what an egg walker is in level three, but apparently level three's egg walker is named Matilde. So that's really cool. And honestly, probably more thinking when it comes to naming characters than literally any other video game on the NES. It's, the alligators are so funny because they're just instant death if you, if you jump wrong. Kind of like Donkey Kong Country, but for some reason in that game, it feels less bad. Maybe it's the checkpoints and the game being fun. How come the alligators that? don't have names? Good question. Yeah. I don't think they're part of the circus. They just are there. They just built the circus in the bayou. <laughs> the bayou circus. Oh my gosh. Now I'm thinking this could be a fusion between Bayou Billy and a circus. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I This music is fine, okay? But every single time it starts, it's like mocking you. <laughs> Okay, Moonberry, I'm waiting for you to die so that we can hear the mocking music again. Although it's kind of a ragtime-esque style here, which I really dig. I'm, I'm terrible at playing ragtime, I gotta be honest. But, uh, like, it, it, it's a good jam. This is not very circusy, and I appreciate that. The players have uh, decided to stop going. Every single one of these tents with a door you can go into. Uh, and the players have stopped going in them. That's where the fairy was that gives you that chance at a heal. But it also is where the mini games that give you nothing but points are. And they are impossible and perceived as a waste of time, understandably. Except for the that single is... game FAQ's review. Well, yeah, he loves that one. Which, you know that Mario Party game where you jump over a fire rope? Oh, I love that one! It, it's sort of like that, except for you're controlling two people at once who move at different timings and like 10 times harder, and you have to last for 90 seconds. Okay, so like VVVVVV, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just I thinking there... It would be easier to beat the thing you're talking about, the Gravitron from I V. I love the Gravitron. It'd be easier to beat that than to beat the challenge in this. I died 10 times with Safe States, uh, trying my best at the fire jumping game here. That's... Just loading this up just to see how it is. That's amazing. I love it. Smevel Bear is just punching... I don't know what they are, but they're flying out of the ink well. I think they're cannonballs. They're, oh, yeah, I think they're cannonballs. Okay, if you can manage to get extra health by doing that, then that's great. But I haven't. S oh, there's they a health the pickup. That... Oh, it didn't give anything. <laughs> what? Why didn't the they hamburger heal? They got hit when they picked it up, so they lost what they gained, which is great. Oh, this game is so good. Uh, Steve is working on the trouble of figuring out how to use items, I think. And they won't be able to beat level 1 until they do. I think that they, the devs had the intention of showing you that you have items to use, and oh. that's why it ends that way. We've got the crappy jump rope section. Bam! There we go! Now that's doable. You just have to know how patterns work. JK, it's probably impossible. <laughs> I, I just want to brag about how good I am at a game that I've never played before, you know? No! Oh! Oh! Rolly Pulley! Okay! Smebble Bear fighting Rolly Pulley here! Okay, one, two, three... Oh, you can oh, stun lock, lock him! Yes! Oh, oh Smebble, you've got this! Rolly Pulley going down! Rolly Pulley has no hope! Oh, Rolly Pulley... Oh, there we go! Oh, Smebble Bear officially 
in the lead. Let's see what the cutscene's all about here. It's a HD picture of Roly Poly. Ah! Ooh, flashing! I forgot about that. Oh! The game wants you to be blind as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, FYI, uh, if any of our refs need to switch out, feel free to do that right now. I did not expect that. Uh, Sorry, I forgot all about that one. I didn't beat any stages when I loaded this up to try it out. Oh, no. So I forgot about that. Yeah, I... Uh, well... Uh, yeah, apologies to anybody. There is officially, from here on out, a flashing warning. And I will go ahead uh, and... Yeah, ask that we put that in the stream title, just in case uh, it happens again. But yeah, if it's not super frequent, uh, then for some people it's not going to be that bad. But hoo boy. Thank you very much, Edge Maze. Victory. I'm pretty sure Smebble, yeah, is locked into World 2 now. So that is the checkpoint. They've got it sealed. Roly Poly's dead forever. Yay! Well, I don't like Roly Poly, okay? First off, he flashed us. And uh, we just don't vibe with that, okay? <laughs> Second off, he's a clown! I think. Well, you know what? The lore actually has some pretty good... Uh, or the, the manual has some pretty good lore here. I don't... I think I was messing that up. Uh, as it turns out, a circus in progress. Its marker is loudly shouting to roping customers. The biggest circus around! Step right up! See for yourselves! The greatest circus of all time! Enjoy a once-in-a-lifetime chance! Tim and his sister Judy stop at the circus tent. Wow, how wonderful! Brother, can we see it? But I'm short of money! Too bad! I wish I could see it! A mysterious clown seated at the entrance suddenly calls them. Ah, uh, you kids haven't got any tickets? Come here. Roll these if you stuck it luckily. I'll give you tickets. Really? Brother, let's do it! Good, say- Oh, good, say a prayer that you'll be lucky. No second try. So, blah, 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 they roll the dice, and then, uh, your kids are sure are lucky. Blah, 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 gives tickets. Uh, show's over. He comes to meet his sister. Strangely, all is quiet. What? Uh... What is the matter? A strange man suddenly appears in front of him. Call me Mr. Magic. I have your sister now. You'd better give up on her. Sh uh, shucks. <laughs> you can't have her. Wait. Tim plunges into the circus tent. What the crap? Mr. Magic shows up and is like, I kidnapped your sister. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have told Tim anything. That's, you know, saying exactly who you kidnapped and when is a pretty good way to get caught. Oh, what is Smebble Bear fighting? We've got... Boss a... 2. Okay, Sword Man. Tight rope walking sword guy who shoots rings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is King Ropey. And Smebble Bear is oh. down, back to 2-1. But still, that is a significant amount of progress. Definitely the lead at the moment. I love how many, like, game overs we have literally on, like, the second screen of the stage. Not even in the second area, the second screen. Yeah, I feel like this game might be hard. I mean, it is made by Toho, though, you know? Could this be Toho's most difficult game? Probably not. Uh, actually, I think you said that it doesn't really get too uh, difficult after stage one, that it's more of the same. Uh, yeah, the enemies don't have a lot of uh, design or interest or anything like that. What about well, level design? You... Uh... It's never any worse or better. Sometimes they give you the jetpack and that's okay. Really, it's a matter of figuring out how to use the items because they are super nice, Castlevania. And obviously the frisbee there is just, we just took the Bible from Castlevania and, you know, stole it. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> and the ability to put bricks wherever you want is very nice. The enemies all drop health, so if you can manage to kill them without getting hit, you'll be good. Yeah, you, you, you to have to get a, a little bit used to the punch because it, like, 
I could see you punching just a little bit too early, and if your timing is off, perhaps the enemies will uh, be able to walk into you and hurt you. But at the same time, it seems like your fist stays out for long enough that most enemies are going to die from that. Yeah, I, I, I think that, like, health management is going to be one of the main things, you know, making sure that they take their time to restore health. Again, this is something that we talk about in Cusa Grande, the way to approach a game. And oftentimes you'll want to look at uh, the restrictions that you have. The, the main restriction here is just the sheer difficulty and taking too much damage or falling into pits. There is no timer, which means that taking your time to refill health is probably a good idea as long as you can consistently do it. A couple players have figured out that the punch is lousy and if you hold down you can do some big kick. Oh, you can and hold down and on that is nice. press kick. Yeah, it just changes from punch to kick, and the kick is a yeah, bigger hitbox. Pretty obviously better. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. I love that. Safer? Yeah, I, I actually really like the brick mechanic of being able to place a brick wherever you want. I, I think that that is super handy, super useful, and, you know, like... There are quite a few modern games that do things like that. Like, come on, Minecraft, Fortnite. I was talking about some of the bugs in this game. If uh, <laughs> sure, if yeah, out of speed Let, let's go ahead and dunk on this game a little bit. Well, just about any single time that you get hit, you can hold the right combination of buttons and just float in the sky and then jump. So you can just, you know, damage boost to the air and take off. And also, you could. Um, you could use that to your advantage and climb over the screen and walk on it the way you would uh, Mario 1 and just exit the stage. Aw, uh, yeah. <laughs> just get through. I kind of like that. Well, good. No, I really like that, you know? I also like not playing this game. Well, it's like... Games that don't expect you to, like, beat it in one specific way, I always appreciate that, you know? Give give me tools to do something a little ridiculous, uh, and I will love it. Even if you didn't necessarily mean it for that to happen, like, it's a huge appeal, especially to people going back and playing a game again, you know? Who wants to yep. play this game normally? Doesn't the tightrope walker look like Lion-O from Thundercats? It kind of does, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd also he say said... that... Yes! Smebble Bear solidly moving into 3-1. Everybody else still in World 1. And there we go, flashing. That's what happens when you get clunked with a key. Wait, chat is asking if I played Mosalina. What does that mean? I haven't played Mona Lisa. That's actually a different type of art, not video games. But Mosalina. Okay, I'll have to look that up. That looks kind of interesting. Yay, the mocking music is back. Gotta make fun of you because you died. Uh, so, you know, this was made by Toho. Uh, the music that you're listening to, as it turns out, uh, was made by some of the classic people who made, what, the music for, what, some of the East games, uh, Cyber Knight, Paladin's Quest, Castlevania Bloodlines, you know, uh, the Symphony of the Night, you know, that's all. So, you know, maybe some unheard of artists there. Azure Dreams, you know, we've got Puyo Puyo music uh, creator in here. Super Godzilla, like you said, Super Godzilla. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, Keith Courage in Alpha Zones, which actually the music's really good in that. Wait, Kid Cool and the Quest for the Seven Wonder Herbs? That's it. Okay, so one of the people who worked on Kid Cool's music worked on the music for this, and I'm kind of pissed off now. Wow, way to sour my mood, Toho. 
I'm just kidding. The music is actually kind of okay in that game every <laughs> once in a while. I just hate Kid Cool. It's such... It's so hard. Another player has reached the Roly Poly. Very nice. 60 and a quarter. Are you going to be able to take down Roly Poly? You don't have a lot of health left. And right now, like, honestly, the stun lock is the best approach. There we go. 60 and a quarter, finding the stun lock here and doing a pretty good job. Now, for those who are watching, if you are relative... Oh, oh no! I saw the kicks starting to come out, but unfortunately it was too late. That was a lot of hits, but unfortunately we are not able to see how much damage has been dealt to the boss because of that. It's real... Oh, what is Smebble Bear oh, no. doing? I this have, this I gambling game is the boss, I remember this. Okay, okay. You have to bet. You have to win this rock, paper, scissors thing, or you just lose and start over the stage. Teriyaki battle! I want teriyaki battle. Do I get to eat teriyaki if I win? If you get the meat, you'll score a point. If the bone, you'll lose it. One it's, minute. It's a, it's a reaction game. It's kind of like the samurai game in Kirby. But you don't want to grab the bone. You got to grab the meat. I remember having a really hard time with this, but maybe I was just slower at reactions as a kid. I like that you stick out a fork. Yeah, maybe you were a little slower at reactions. Oh my gosh. Don't count that tiger out. Oh, that tiger is coming back. Look at this. Moonberry, no! I had so much hope! I was paying attention to the tiger, but still, I had hope. Oh my gosh, Smebble Bear, no, no. Smebble Bear, you can do it. Okay, the tiger is cheating. Tiger's fierce. <laughs> Rubber banding white tiger. <laughs> Gonna start grabbing all the meat. No, nope, that is a clear win by Smebble Bear. We won the meat eating competition. Oh, look at him, he's cute. Watch out for flashing from the white tiger. Here Watch out, flashing! Oh, not this time, I guess. Oh, okay, never mind then. Cool. I just assume all the bosses are gonna flash the screen at this point. There's Han Han the elephant. It's so small. Why is the elephant a, elephant a baby? Okay, that's the best elephant I've ever seen in a circus ever, okay? I, I, I... I'm one of the weird people who doesn't really like elephants. I think they're kind of gross looking. One of the most famous celebrities of all time was an elephant named Jumbo. Changed this, uh, the way we use our language now. Jumbo was so popular, now we use it for fries. We use it for everything. Every time you use the word Jumbo, tribute to that elephant. I'm never using the word Jumbo again because elephants are stupid. <laughs> I just got kids Jumbo. <laughs> Didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, Jumbo, you suck. <laughs> oh, my name's Jumbo. People like me for no good reason, because maybe I'm a smelly, stupid elephant. Like the picture of a fire flame there, <laughs> not animated. It's really funny. It's the poster of what a fire would look like. Also, I appreciate Nightbot at least remembering that I don't really care for elephants. I appreciate that. See, I, I'm at least consistent in what I like and what I don't like. Elephants don't like. But I can appreciate people who do like them. That's fine. If you like Jumbo the Elephant, that's fine. If you want to remember him forever for everything that he did, which was nothing for you, that's fine as well. Maybe he made an no. obesity popular. Thank you, no, Jumbo. Jumbo the trap. There's just a big wall in the way, and you have to jump over it, but it's not very clear. Oh, here we go, Moonberry, back to the boss. Are we gonna see anybody else clear this stupid freaking boss? It's, uh, like I said, there's like a 20% chance you're a master of this game and there's a 80% chance you'll never beat stage one. <laughs> it's just the way it is. I, I think Moonberry might have it this time though. Like, look All at right. this strat, kicking. Yes, oh, Moonberry is. is through. Flashing Boy, warning, everybody. You have extremely good players in your, your tournament, that's all. That's the bias here. Ow! That's why the numbers are higher. Ugh.
It must feel very nice after 30 minutes of losing to that sad bag thing <laughs> to finally be free of stage one. <laughs> yeah, Smebble Bear, by the way, is saying one of the main issues that they've run into is that if you get hit while you are jumping up, you lose all vertical momentum, which you saw killed Smebble Bear right there. You sure do. Oh, that was the fairy there that was going to heal and bring health back, but decided that he's dead, actually, and just left. Stupid. Like, you're you're useless, fairy. You're useless. <laughs> At the same time, I kind of appreciate, like, a game that just mocks you sometimes. Like, oh, you died? Well, too bad. And it's not too punishing. I mean, you go back to the same world that you were on. It's not back to the beginning of the game. So, whatever. The fairy's a jerk, but that's kind of fairies for you anyway. I've seen enough Peter Pan. I like this kind of scary music. This doesn't seem to fit the game at all. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I dig the music. It's a jam. Like, if this feels like it's more Golgo 13 than Circus Caper, but, you know... I think I prefer that to circus music. The ragtime was good. I, I, I don't know. I, I play the piano. Ragtime is a nightmare for me to play. I just have a very hard time with that many notes. That fast. It's just so many notes. They're like, hey, how about you play five notes with each hand at the same time and move all around the keyboard and, like, honestly... I, I feel like anybody who manages to play decent ragtime, you are fantastic. G give me something classic. Give me something else. Uh, but this, no, th this is a much more straightforward kind of sneaky music. Uh-oh, Moonberry up to boss number two already. Well, it looks like, uh. yeah, world two is not nearly as long. Now, those who are curious, it does look like uh, Sober Dwarf has made it to 1-2, but not to the boss. The order, not Sober Dwarf, Steve TV Online, whatever, S Sober Dwarf is a rep. Uh, so the current order is Smebble Bear in the lead, Moonberry second, 60 and a quarter third, and Steve TV Online in fourth. Many thanks for the refs for keeping track of this because I would get lost either way. And Smebble Bear is on to the boss? This looks like a guy in a kilt. Oh, no. Oh, that's the Lion Tamer guy. I oh, Ivanov. See, they're being inclusive and, in, like, including, in, you know, he's not just Billy or Steve or something like that. No, Ivanov, that's fantastic. He's gone. There's probably going to be flashing this time. Oh, no, did they get him at the same time? Oh, no. That doesn't work. Gotta restart the Double stage. KO, back to the beginning. The boss did die, but that is a double KO. Hey, good morning, Justin. Justin's awake and running around. I guess not technically morning, but ah, whatever. He's got a different sleep schedule. Yeah, I know you're not running, Justin. You're just... What? I could say you're wobbling around, but... And even if that... <laughs> it is more accurate, but it doesn't sound as nice. Ah. Uh, I'm just actually really enjoying this game at this point. I, I would say that, yeah, the game is highly flawed in some of the mechanics here. Uh-oh, Steve TV Online has opted to reset the game. That's completely fine. You're allowed to do it. I don't know why. I'm not sure there's any advantage to it. Yeah, that was a double sixes, though. <laughs> I know that that doesn't make any difference. I 
guess if you lose, you just try again until you win. The clown must give away the ticket. I think that even if you lose, he's like, well, you know, that means you only get one ticket because you lost. And if you win, he's like, congrats, but I only have one ticket. Here you go. Sounds right. The clown scam. It was set up from the start. <laughs> All clowns are scams. Never trust a clown, especially when it comes to getting freebies. Okay? Say free candy? Uh-uh. No. More like free go away clown. Smebble Bear doing a really good job of dropping the blocks. How do you drop a block, by the way? I think you just have yourself up and equip, press the button for it. But you, this is NES, you got A and B. I, I it's presume. Probably up and, uh, up and attack. attack. So, like Castlevania. Yeah, I would, I would suspect that they'd stole as much from that as they could. Okay, let me see. Kick. Select. Selects your weapon. Okay. Being able to carry all your weapons around at once is pretty nice. You should bring a full inventory to any big fight because of that. I actually think you might have to cycle between weapons and dropping blocks. Because, like, the manual just says, when wanting to use an item, press the select button and the item will appear at the top of the screen. By pressing the D button, you can fire the weapon. To use another weapon, press the select button again. So, Ooh. you... Like, Strats if you're Moonberry. using blocks, then you can't actually attack. Yeah, Moonberry getting up on top of the uh, safe area, that's honestly a pretty decent idea if you're, like, just trying to figure out the how the boss moves, what there the boss is, is going to do. And there we go, Moonberry flashing Double time. Flash. Two of them. <laughs> Watch out, everybody. Oh, ow. Ah. This was a mistake. The Lion Tamer is down. And the Tightrope Dancer. Here, look at this thing. Harpies? Bird it's ladies? Some kind of... That Sid from Toy Story has taken two clowns and fused them together into a plane. I don't like that. It reminds me of Hellboy from last weekend for the PS1. There were also bird ladies. You might be excited to know that there is a new mini game as of stage four where you drive a car and it's impossible as well. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think no. anyone's going to show it off. Smell, go anyone... do it. That's the best part of the game. That may be. I'm looking at the names for the enemies, by the way. The snake on this stage is named Speezy. Yeah, so you're saying the punch, and it looks like that's true. They have to cycle to the empty block on their inventory. Oh, that... Yeah, that's pretty bad. But I like Speezy. The clown... It says that the clown name in this stage is Harpo, which... I haven't seen any clowns except for the bird ladies, which those might be Harpo's the Harpies. I don't, unicycle Rider is Melody. And then at the end of this stage, you fight Spanky. Hey, it Spanky the bear. No, 60 and a quarter. That was good progress, but unfortunately not enough to move out of stage two, but still being in stage two, that is significant. Honestly, I feel like stage one uh, is very difficult. Stage two is a little bit of a breather because you only have one area before you go and fight the boss. Whereas level one, you have two areas. You know, why not front load the difficulty? Moonberry has figured out that the hats teleport you, which is intended. I'm pretty sure Smubble Bear did a glitch and jumped over the wall and exited stage three on accident. But they didn't do any of this nonsense. <laughs> they just left. Wait, is this Spanky? The manual yes. says it's a bear on a ball, but this... I, that's a very small ball, I guess. There we go, Spanky <laughs> is down. <laughs> flashing time, everybody, watch out. Wow. I think that this game might see it clear here. They got 20 minutes and one stage to go. Smebble very much has a chance to beat this game. MVP of Circus Caper must be proud. Hmm. 
Okay, Moonberry currently doing the meat eating competition versus the tiger. Honestly, I'm trying to figure out the uh, the, 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 the anatomy of this tiger because he's got a very short left arm. I think he's squatting. I don't know, it might be. Let me check, let me check the manual. <laughs> the manual, yeah. Uh, nope. Gamran, the white tiger. Just a tiger. Literally, you are game. not fighting the tiger. You are trying to out-eat the tiger. And there we go. Yeah, Smite, I feel like maybe it was just more difficult for you as a kid. <laughs> yeah, it might be true. I love the tiger after you beat him, though. He just looks so, like... I think oh, he's got flirting. Uh oh, Moonberry is into the mini game. Which one oh, is this? Third one. I, I don't remember this one. A third mini game? Ah, uh, shooting gallery. Perfect. You get one solid minute to do this. Good job losing a minute. Oh no! It's like when you miss, you lose your points. Uh, oh, maybe the blue ones don't count. I don't think the blue ones count, yeah. <laughs> you gotta sit here and wait. <laughs> So people are asking, is Smebble Bear on the bottom left here in a door maze? And this I would is the say, second maze. Yes. I don't like this. Oh no! Magic Man keeps appearing. Is this the guy who stole your girl? I think so. Well actually no, he, this is just like some lesser magician, some apprentice. He's a pretty scary looking guy. Okay. Yeah, there there is the magician Jacob, so that would be Jacob. Mr. Magic is the final boss, though. You know, that's who we really want to kill here for stealing our girl. Level 3 with the hats is also a maze, and the players did not struggle with that one at all. This door maze will be a little bit more annoying. Okay. I'm listening to the music on Moonberry screen, and the boss at the end of this stage is a Russian circus performer. The music actually really matches with that. Uh, oh my gosh. I mean, come on. These, these are the people who did the music for Symphony of the Night. Like, of course the music's going to be good. This is ridiculous. I don't think anyone's done it yet, but um, one of the players was talking about getting hit, losing your momentum, and falling. You can, you can do the opposite and just float there if you... Um, Figure it out, <laughs> which is that makes this game a lot easier. I'll tell you that. Yeah, figuring out like the quirks in uh, some of the physics with games, like Cusa Grande, uh, is the quote-unquote bad video game tournament. Even if you enjoy a game, even if there are decent elements to it, oftentimes there are going to be some issues. And if you can make those issues work for you rather than work against you. You can definitely make a lot of progress in, by doing that. Uh, I don't know if we've seen too many games that have super helpful glitches or exploits, but uh, just the way that you're describing it with not falling into a pit because of taking damage, like that sounds uh, very, very valuable. I've seen many just pit being able deaths. To fly, almost. Like as soon as you take a hit, you're just able to jump again. It's almost the way you get a double jump in this game free block. The players who are going to succeed at this in the end, though, are going to be the players who learn how to farm the enemies for health. Smebble Bear on to the next area of the final stage here. We are seeing a lot of progress, and as a quick recap right now, it is Smebble Bear in the lead, Moonberry in second. 60 and a quarter has made it to the boss of level two, and Steve TV Online still needs to get to the boss of stage one. Like, it, it's a very clear first, second, third, and fourth, but things can change. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to beat Smebble Bear unless Smebble gets stuck on this stage and Moonberry really starts making a push. Moonberry historically has done well in the second half of games before. I wouldn't be too surprised to see a decent push by him. 
but I don't know if it's going to be enough to pass Smebelbear at this point. Like, Smebel's doing very well. It isn't a long game if you're winning. 15 <laughs> minutes, I think that either one of them could beat the game from here. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine, like, there have to be speedruns of this game somewhere, and I can't imagine they're too difficult. Well, a speedrun, because too it's long. such a broken game, is <laughs> you not have a category for no out-of-bounds, because it, you could just leave. But I doubt that there is. I bet, I bet it's any percent all the way down. Ah, uh, there's gotta be no out- uh, I feel like people playing this wouldn't want to just skip the entire game. Uh, I'm, I'm very much a fan of doing speedruns in a way that I enjoy, rather than just doing what is objectively the fastest. Like, sometimes Out of Bounds can be a lot of fun, but for a game like this, I don't know. Smellable Bear is fighting a kangaroo! Oh! Well, well, I don't think you're gonna beat this kangaroo. 40, six minutes, 40 seconds speedrun for this game. God, this music is so good. Okay, Smebel, you're gonna beat the boxing kangaroo? Because if so, you might get a fairy that may or may not help you. So, the speed run, as soon as it goes into the first stage, it kills an enemy, gets a brick, turns around, jumps over the wall, and ends the first stage. Three seconds. <laughs> three seconds?! Oh my gosh! The fact that you can beat the level in three seconds, that's amazing. And Steve is on to level two and the driving minigame. Uh, two one can be done the same way, two seconds that time. Hey, is this a boss rush? Okay, Smebble Bear just killed boss number one, boss number two, here we go. Doesn't seem like the bosses take too many hits either. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there are only any percent speedruns on here for <laughs> the game. Okay. I, I feel like no out... Oh, no. I, I might have to try the any percent. It seems silly. Smell Bear fighting Mr. Magic. Oh, Mr. Magic dealing a lot of damage, though. I think Smell Bear is down back to the beginning of the level. But in order to lose... Somebody else has to make it to the final boss and beat at least the first phase. If there are multiple phases, I don't know. There's a boss rush. For some reason. And, um... Yeah, I just watched the speedrun, it's over. <laughs> that was fun. I love it. There, there's like eight stages in the game, and you can jump over the wall and skip six of them. So th three seconds per for those six, and then you have two actual stages to do. You know what? I bet there's a way to get through the walls on those stages, too. I bet there is. Yeah. They're relying on a little bit of RNG and getting the brick drop quickly. And then once they have it, they have enough bricks to do every one of those levels. I love it. I might have to experiment with this game. I love, like, finding glitches when it comes to old NES games. Like, anything that involves clipping in walls, I'm like, <laughs> yeah! Let me do it, baby! speedrun where you don't have to engage the part of the game that no one likes. The levels. <laughs> the game. The enemy characters that he sends are all visions, so they're gonna be easier to defeat. I mean, technically, you're right, Fairy, but I don't like you. I like that it makes you do this kangaroo fight before go- or this kangaroo <laughs> collect them collect a thon before like fighting the final boss it's like just do it i don't know why points uh, points okay everybody this is for the points this kangaroo is not very good at collecting points like average at best Yeah, I mean, I looked at this game for a cape because I remembered it had a bunch of mini games that has appeal. But what do you do with it? <laughs> AI can't win. I mean, considering this shouldn't be the hard part of the final boss rush, sure, go ahead and make the enemy lose. That's fine. Moonberry says, beaten an enemy, engaged screen flashing. 
they're on World 4, I think. Watch out! No, World 5. Oh. Yeah, that was Ivanov. Oh, the Lion Trainer. Never mind. What? Yeah, li Ivanov is the Lion Trainer. Whatever. Okay. Ah. Uh -uh. And here we go. jump noise. Pew! Pew! Not the best jump noise I've heard in my life, but not the worst. Could use some improvement. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Like, I haven't gotten annoyed by it. That's the biggest thing. If you're gonna have a sound that happens 50 bazillion times, then make Just it like magic's this. getting clobbered. Yeah! Be close. Destroy Mr. Magic! Oh no, one heart left. That is death for oh. Smebble Bear. Not enough. Mr. Magic wins. Moonberry, even or odd? Nope. Too bad. <laughs> what a treat. I don't think we've seen anybody win that. Or has somebody? I think they have, and then the fairy didn't end up healing them when they came out. And they died. Well, that's fantastic. Can't win them all. I still dig this music, though. It, it's really good. 60 is on stage 3. Yeah, very nice, 60 and a quarter. Steve TV is playing stage two. I'm glad that everybody has made a little progress. Yeah, it's late progress for some of the players, but still, like, n nobody's getting eliminated. They had good enough scores that they are going to keep playing in Cusa Grande. Uh, and, you know, you never really know how you're gonna do when it comes to a game that you've never played before. Sure, uh, there are some people who are more reliably uh, uh, solid when it comes to playing a new game, but, you know, it's the roll of the dice, just like the fairy. But yeah, FYI, these contestants have seven points each, so the person who comes in fourth will have nine, which means that they barely stay in Cusa Grande and they need to take first in their following matches in order to stay in and make it to the bracket. And that's two matches to take first. It's doable. Uh, somebody's gonna do it. Oh, 60 and a quarter jumped over the wall and time to eat yeah. versus a tiger. That is basically how you do it at the start of the level as well. I, I actually I think the reason understand. They're jumping that wall, yeah. I think they're jumping over that wall because it's a dead end and they think that's what you're supposed to do. But they're not seeing the, um, the mystery path that you're actually meant to take. And they're doing the stage skip instead. My guess is that uh, anything that triggers a screen transition that doesn't take you to a bonus game would likely be the thing that takes you to the tiger. Flashing time, everybody! Close your eyes! Ow! Moonberry's catching up. Oh, the poor bear. Moonberry is on to six. Dash one. Smebble Bear again has made it to Mr. Magic and done a decent amount of damage. Smebble Bear just plowing through the mirages here. 60's finding out that the tiger can win sometimes. Oh my gosh, 36? He's got the meat. <laughs> 60 and a quarter, oh no! <laughs> the tiger demolished you. Game over. You know, maybe I'm remembering it backwards. Maybe just mashing wins against the tiger, and it was so easy that I thought the opposite of it. 60 is unhappy to find out that that was the boss. <laughs> yeah, they're like, is this really necessary? I don't think uh, 60 and quarter was even trying. <gasps> there it is, the clear. Tim! Yeah, I saw Tim! They used me as target practice for knife throwing. What? The end. They, uh, that's what she says? 
Hey, welcome everybody. We get to learn about trauma. That is the message of the game. Well... What did you think of Circus Caper? Now that you've seen all of it. Honestly, I kind of dig this game. I, I think that it's highly flawed, but it's actually a lot of fun. No, Smebble Bear, how dare you? Putting a clown picture up? I know I... one car minigame. Uh, Moonberry enjoying... Maybe that's a very uh, inaccurate phrase there, but doing the door maze. Okay. Okay, and I'm bringing Smebble in. Hello there, Smebble! Hello there, Smebble! Circus Caper Champ. Uh, hello. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't think we were expecting anybody to beat this game, but here you are. You... You wrecked it. I was not expecting to beat it either. Um... Wow. Oh, that was miserable in every way. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on. This isn't a good game. Um, <laughs> people were in the chat before the game started. If this was better than Acro the Acrobat, maybe? Because I really don't like Arrow. I but hate Arrow. But as far Arrow. as circus games goes, this might be near the bottom. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't like circus themes anyway when it comes to video games. At least there wasn't Oompapa, as far as I heard so far. Uh, but... Yeah, it's definitely not the best circus game I have seen either. Uh, so what is so bad about this? Please help enlighten us. So the first thing is I mentioned in earlier in the chat that if you get hit while jumping, you lose all upward momentum. So you basically, if you're trying to jump over a pit and you get hit, you're basically already dead. Uh, the other thing is the way that probably notice the way the uh, power-ups have random velocity and direction. <laughs> so they often just fly straight up off the screen and never come back. I love seeing that. And sometimes you just don't hit the enemy. Sometimes your sprite connects with the punch or the kick and nothing happens. Yeah, it's like oh, the uh, collision can be a bit of an issue. On this final level, the ghosts, the green ghosts, they reverse your controls if you touch them. And if the skull gets in your hitbox and you don't have a weapon to stop it, you're pretty much dead. Oh no. Why, does it just and take away up. all of your health immediately? Yeah, it just completely generates you. And also, the uh, the teleporter maze at the end of this game doesn't seem to really be a maze. It just takes you to a random place when you enter the door. That's as far as I can tell. Maze. Yeah, it's kind of a maze, but if you just keep heating up on the door, and you know which door is the right... Uh, which room is the right room to get to the boss? And that's pretty much all you need to do. So just mash up, 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 and then you finally enter the door. I, I think so. Hey, Moonberry so. is sure. to the boss! Yay! Did you ever get the fairy tool? Oh, yeah, and this, this, this mini game before the boss, they don't tell you, but the punch button is replaced. It's now the jump button to punch in this mini game. Why? Why? I don't know. I had to hit A to punch in this mini game. I mean, why not? You know, why not change the controls for no good reason? Also, yeah. like, I, I feel like this is one of those mini games that you probably have to win, but there's really no indication that you have to win it. Like, versus the uh, kangaroo. I think it restores your point, your health points if you win. And if you don't, you just go in with whatever health points you had when you started. Okay. So, basically, it's pretty unnecessary. Oh, and speaking of unnecessary minigames, all those doors I passed were minigames to get points, and each one yeah. was 60 seconds long, as far as I can tell. The jumping bear game I... is 90, and then there's a car game, and a oh. shooting gallery. Oh. Yeah, there points are a lot of minigames. Games. In fact, the minigames are the best part. From points are for the high score table. Of circus I, I guess. I mean, 
Has anyone played this for score in the history of humanity? I mean, we could go check uh, Twin Galaxies if we want, but hopefully nobody has. So this boss rush, they really do just have two health each. That's interesting. Yeah, you you took a couple tries at the boss rush, but that is fine. Actually, I want to hear the bo the final boss music here, because there we go. That is time. Everybody celebrate. Hey. Yay, Smebble, you managed to be the most successful and actually complete the game, which honestly, you know, uh, Moonberry got pretty close right there, but everybody had varying levels of success here. Like, it, it was just really impressive because you took an early lead and you held the, the lead the entire time. Like, it wow, was... really? Yes. Uh... uh as soon as you had beaten the boss for stage one, nobody else got close to you. Like Oh, and those alligators in stage one? Yeah. They um they're not on a set pattern. When they spawn is when they start their pattern. So you can get uh, stuck in a pattern you can't actually make across. Yeah, technically you can use the blocks to place in the air and then jump on the blocks, so it's not impossible to get across those pits. It's just you have to think like like a Minecrafter. There is a bug you can use when you get hit to just hover in the air and then jump again. And there's also... Oh, yeah, I found that out. That, that, that's what I ended up using <laughs> to actually get past that part. Oh, you just max jump, you can, you can bounce back up. The speedrun we were talking about a little bit, you might be interested in, in that every stage is three seconds long. <laughs> I have to find out how that works. Oh yeah, you gotta you gotta look that up. I gotta look that up. I'm really interested in the speed run after learning that. But six minutes and forty seconds, I think, including the intro and the boss fight. But yeah, to let everybody know, it looks like Smebble Bear is the only person to beat the game. After that, Moonberry takes second place, having made it to the final boss of the game. We also have 60 and a quarter who took third and Steve TV online in fourth. Nobody is getting eliminated. And because of that, you know, uh, you know, they'll have different challenges coming up. Smebble Bear, your life is a little bit easier. There's a high possibility of you making it to the bracket, but also you're going to go up against uh, com other competitors who have done pretty dang well. So good luck on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I have to ask Smebble, are you streaming anything these days, or is there anything people should be aware of that they should catch? Nope. I just pretty much come here to watch bad games and sometimes play bad games. Heck yeah. And uh, yeah, so final verdict. Does this game belong in Cusa Grande? Oh, absolutely. Ah, there we go. Um, might be better than Circus Charlie. That's all I'll give it. I'm trying to remember Circus Charlie. I think I blocked that out of my mind. <laughs> it's an old arc. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know Circus Charlie. I'll look, probably try not to look that up later on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smite, what about you? Do you have anything that you want to plug? Obviously, Arcade Pit tomorrow night. Uh, I've been taking it easy. I'll probably get to work next week on some marathons and stuff, but yeah, our campus is doing great. Yeah, yeah, the last weekend was a blast. I'm glad that we were able to come and watch, and, you know, hopefully things keep going well. I need to sign up and play again, because I love me some Arcade Pit. Yeah, everyone's welcome to do that. We got the ArcadeP.it is the sign up for that. Anybody who feels like doing that show. Yeah, there you go. I hope that I actually wrote it correctly, and indeed I did. So feel free to go check that out, anybody who hasn't. And if you have, you can still go check it out again. Well, thank you so much, Smite. I had a blast with Circus Caper. I think that's what it's called. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, dang it. How did I get it right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Circus we'll, Caper. Circus Caper. Yar. Well, we'll go ahead and see you later, Smite. Take care. Have a good one. Yeah. Well, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and run a quick ad for y'all. So go ahead and kick back, relax, and we will get the next match going in just a minute. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, we only have two matches, and then after that, the mystery show. What is it going to be? Well, it's a mystery. You'll see you later.